I'm Rosalind Cyrus, I go by Roz. So I have been a designer for about 15 years and that encompasses web design, application design, anything like that. Um, but when it comes to programming, I sort of fell in love with it and have always had a knack for just doing it on the side. The two disciplines feed into each other and off of each other. And so the way I like to think about it is, if you can make something beautiful just by looking at it, there's no reason why you can't also make something beautiful by creating it or constructing it. I'll give you an example from when I first graduated undergrad that gave me some insight into me thinking development would be something I'd love. I, at the time, I don't remember what website it was. It was some website where it would show you the time of day and you know, the actual dates. How does it know that that's the time of day? And you know, I would look at the source code to see if there was any insight and it would just have the time of day printed there. But I was wondering, well, how does it know? How is it actually calculated? And I would look up ways to do that. And that's when, you know, PHP was a big deal. And I, that's, that's literally what made me start learning PHP because I learned that you can have dynamic content. And I never knew about this concept of dynamic content. So that was how I knew early on that the fact that I was so curious to figure out this one thing that I <laughs> went and picked up a programming language because of it was how I knew I had what it took. I had the determination and the curiosity to pursue something like this. And that was years before, you know, I was even in the Bay Area. And so I think I just always knew I had this burning curiosity inside of me to solve problems, whether it's um, through design or code, like I said, and it just, it fit right in with the way my brain already works, just trying to break things apart and put them back together in a better way. So at the time I was living in the Bay Area and had a roommate who was getting into development or at least piquing his interest. And he was taking a course through that graduate certificate and said, hey Roz, I know you dabble in this. Would you like to look at this and maybe take a course with me? And I said, sure. So I looked at the courses that they were offering and I said, this seems like it would be perfect for me because you know one of my mantras is you don't know what you don't know. And me being self-taught, I might have a certain level of confidence, but I would never think I'm good enough to just say, oh, I don't need that program, I've got this. So I decided to just enroll with him. And that very first course was CS106B, which is a second level intro course to computer science. And I was just blown away, it was incredible. Um, I think the challenging thing though was I was so far removed from undergrad and I was so used to the, the working world that I had to remember how to be a student. So that was definitely a challenge, but that's sort of how I got the ball rolling. And funny enough, my roommate, not to call him out, my roommate at the time, that was the one and only class he took. I kept going with it because I loved it so much. And I initially didn't even have the master's program in my mind at all. I really was just going for the four or five courses for the certificate. And by the time I was a few courses in, one of my professors said, Raj, you really should apply for the master's program. And then that planted a seed in my head. And then I went ahead and applied and it's been, you know, the rest is history.